Hey guys, I'm doing this video request for someone uh, on the bacteria forums just to demonstrate what happens when you supply an LCD screen with two little voltages. So I've got the seven inch screen here. The specifications is actually calls for 24 volts. Come on, focus, 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 focus. There we go, 24 volts. But there's no way I'm gonna supply 24 volts to this thing. So I've got two different power supplies that I'm gonna demonstrate this with. First one is the power supply for a PS1. And uh, focus, focus, focus. As you can see, this supplies 7.5 volts at 2.0 amps. So two amps, that should be plenty to power this thing. But the voltages, um, is this enough? Plug that in. I've got my, um, my screen connected to a GameCube playing Mario Kart Double Dash. So if this runs, we should be seeing some sweet Mario Kart action. And actually, you can see it's not doing much of anything. Make sure it's actually connected correctly. There we go. So it's receiving power, but it's actually not enough power. You can see it blinking in and out like that. Every now and then you can actually see some gameplay footage in the background, but it just, uh, just a split second not even filling the entire screen so you can see it's not drawing enough power there alright let's get rid of that we know it's not good power supply is good I've run a PlayStation many a time on that power supply next I'm gonna test with an Atari Jaguar adapter focus 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 alright you can see there we've got 9 volts at 1.2 amps so it's actually supplying a lower current so if the current's a problem, this won't do anything. If the voltage is a problem, this may be enough. Let's get connected to this new power supply. And right off the bat, yeah, sorry, I'm not showing it connected. I'm, I'm actually gotta connect it by hand, the hard way. But as you can see, it's, it's running perfectly. So uh, that's the big difference. Thanks for watching.